It's all on the tape. 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 We ain't gon' walk around it. Oh no. We ain't gon' talk about it. Let's go. We ain't gon' walk around it. Oh no. We ain't gon' talk about it. Let's go. It's all on the tape. 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 It's raw assassin. He gon' bring it like a door dash. Every Thursday at noon, it's about to be a blast. We put it all on the table like a smorgasbord. And it don't matter the subject, it can be explored. Yeah, it's Philly's own and he going strong. Don't bring the kids, cause we talking grown. Bring your opinion, don't matter if it's right or it's wrong. We preaching the topic, it's on. It's all on the tape. 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 We ain't gonna walk around it. Oh no, we ain't gonna talk about it. Let's go. We ain't gonna walk around it. Oh no, we ain't gonna talk about it. Let's go. It's all on the tape. 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 Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's always a hater in a motherfucking room, but it is what the fuck it is. What's motherfucking popping? Y'all already know what it is. Your boy, boy. The Pie Piper, aka Raw Sass in a motherfucking building. All on the table podcast coming at you live each and every motherfucking Thursday, talking my shit as I do. Oh, so motherfucking well. Y'all to me. Yeah. We here. There we go. We are fucking here. I gotta roll the um, weed up already. Fuck your internal woman. That's a lot of angry ass bros in the building tonight. God damn. I ain't no motherfucking like, bra either. You better. You call yourself what you want and you're still angry. I ain't know people still call people broads. His I old call... fucking 50 year old ass. Of course, he gonna call people broads. Oh, bitch. Oh, damn. Spicy. Look, 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 look. Start rubbing his fucking eyebrows, Mr. Clean. As I almost said something there. to you, but I'm trying to be a nice guy. See, when what? I got this mask on, I'm a nice fucking person. Don't make me take this shit the fuck off. Ooh. I'm just saying. I'm scared. Yeah, yeah, fuck you. Take shit the fuck off. Take it the fuck off, then. I had to Y'all say to my, like, with my full You sound like a fucking accent. predator. You sound like a fucking predator. Relax. Take it off. Take it off. <laughs> Take it off. <laughs> Take it off. Can I introduce your no neck ass before you start talking shit? Can I really we, ain't got that? no neck today because my hoodie had in what I have to say. <laughs> Mars. 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 <laughs> what up, though? No. I love it. If those is bars, I'm not listening to music ever again. <laughs> Nigga, stop fucking playing with I'm me. I'm just saying, like. Yeah. Don't 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 disrespect. So, all right, let me introduce these angry motherfuckers. I don't know what the hell's wrong with all three of them tonight. Mm. Just something's going on. I think Mercury retrograde. Don't they blame that on everything? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. But... See, exactly me either. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what the fuck ever. <laughs> Savagely humbles in the building. What's fucking popping? Hey yo, I did a thing today. I called off for work. I don't even do that shit. But today was like, fuck you and fuck them. I'm not coming in. <laughs> so now I got three days off instead of two days off. Thank Bitch, you very you much. Did a, you done had a threesome. Not... You done did a called off for work. Yeah. Because I, I was off Sunday and so. Monday. I really thought she was about to say so. Worth but, bro, you it, know my black that. ass work every fucking weekend. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> you got that shit. That shit would irk my fucking soul to the max. I just can't fucking do it. Not see if it's like one week a month. I work one cool, day out of. I've worked one day out of every weekend for the past four weekends. That's still like giving but, up. Well, weekend. today would have been the fourth one, but I said no. That's still like working every fucking weekend. Yeah, see, I mean, you yeah. might as well say you work the whole weekend because the only one day off you on the weekend, you gotta like. Catch up on all the shit you didn't do. It's funny. I, I clean my house. To... I wash clothes. Exactly. I got to get my kids ready for school. I had yeah, a conversation with somebody at work, and she was like, uh, I, I said, I told her that Friday was the second best day at work. And she was like, well, what's the first best day? And I said, Monday. So she was like, what the fuck you mean, Monday? I'm like, if you can get past Monday, everything is gravy at that point. So to me, that's <laughs> the best day at work. It is what the fuck yeah. it is. 
No. She was like, why wouldn't it be Saturday? I'm like, well, Saturday is like a fucking work day. You spend all day Saturday doing all the bullshit you couldn't do at work so you could finally have one day off, which is Sunday, and you you spend that getting ready for fucking work. So technically, you don't have a fucking weekend when you work a nine to five. It is what it is. I work from home on Mondays and Fridays. So all right, I shut feel- the fuck up. Nah, nah, nah. I don't feel sorry for none of you work from home motherfuckers. I don't just you rolled over, you brushed, you didn't even brush your teeth till like three o'clock in the afternoon, and we supposed to feel sorry for you. I ain't asked for sympathy. That about a bitch. Y'all motherfuckers get up three minutes before you got a clock to fuck in, but and, and always want sympathy. I ain't got no sympathy for nobody that work from home. Fuck y'all motherfuckers. It is. Let me shout out my husband because he took off thirty days. To make sure he accommodated me so I can stay focused on my school study. So let me shout there out. There you go. There you go. As long as that throat work. We got a Laura D in the building. What's popping? What's up? And this throat always works, period. Okay. As the fuck it should. As okay. the fuck it should. We got Miss Tara in the building. What's popping? Nothing much. Oh, that's all you got? So when the realistic popping, that's all you got, huh? Is what yep. we doing? Yep. Roger that. The light skin assassin in the building. How you feeling tonight, though? You still angry? Mm-mm. I never was. You're just a jerk. You always fucking angry. What are you? I am not a jerk for one. You are the problem. I am a nice though. fucking I'm not person. Like anybody but you. I'm probably the nicest person that anybody could ever meet in their life. Do you always log into my show and say, "Hey, everybody, but Tara"? Okay, that's what I thought. I'm, I, you told me that's how you want me to say hello when I come on to y'all show. That's a damn shame. Okay. You said that, not me. I'm just following the rules so I don't get fired. That's that I said that to you. Why, why would I ever say that to you? I was trying to figure it out as well, but I just was going with the flow. It is what it is. Okay. You got you it. Said. We got the little nigga just stepped in the building. J. Dot Flan, what's popping, Slime? So stupid. I swear to God, these these young people in the disrespect. I don't know what it is about you young folks and how y'all don't know how to respect y'all the elders. One day you and this young people pocket. shit like you ain't a year older than me, nigga. Like what the fuck is going on? You all under understand you, different. You things. you, you stop pissing in your diapers while I was still pissing, nigga. But I was almost there with you. Fuck you, you talking about, Slav? You understand the difference between more and less, right? I've been on this planet a little bit longer than you. I think you should respect that, but. It is what it is. It's 104 degrees outside. I ain't come here for the bullshit. You know, it is what it is. Let's go. So you got even smaller. Pause. Roger the fuck that. You need to stop worrying about my size, dog. I'm worrying about you. <laughs> Roger that, little nigga. Roger the fuck that. But we motherfucker here, now that we done got through all of that shit, all this anger and animosity that's going on in the building, I don't know where it's coming from. But hopefully, by the end of this show, everybody will be happy, especially Tara. But who knows? We'll see how shit goes. You know what I mean? I want to run this episode. So last week, everybody said that they enjoyed the happy hour type of episode. So I said, you know what? Last week, what I did was I brought on all musical guests. Everybody that does music on a normal basis or around music on a normal basis. I want to do this with some people who aren't doing music, but are around music, that listen to music. People that may shock you, especially Tara, who listens to nothing but pimp shit. And then you got a Laura who only fuck to gangster shit. So we don't know where this episode is going at this point. I'm just, I, I don't know where it's going. I can't speak for everybody else. I don't know where the fuck it's going. But I'm excited to have this hip hop conversation with these folks. So this is how we're going to start this off. Tara. Why are people not putting effort into their music anymore? Do you think they just don't give a fuck or do we don't give a fuck as listeners? Yeah, we don't care. You have a lot of people who say when they try to do it with, you know, with purpose or with some insight, it doesn't sell. So if you can do the, the most or the least amount of work and not have any talent or creativity and still get rich, still have a hit, why would you work hard? Just do what you do. Look at Sexy Red. I ain't going to lie to you. I think she's setting women back by like 95 years at this point. <laughs> I agree. Like real shit. I, I feel like 
if I was a woman, I would be upset every time she's on the radio. I don't like hear she's really I'm setting y'all back. She just, yeah, she's disgusting. Facts. Alora, do you agree that she's setting y'all back? I've really never listened to her music, so I don't, really don't know. So you only don't listen to the pussy pink in my booty hole brown. I've heard close pound of it, but I've never, pound pound. I've never heard the full song. I I wasn't interested in it because I don't care about nobody's booty hole. And she got to be one of the worst looking bodies I've ever seen in my life, too. I ain't going <laughs> to lie to you. She looks... She really... So, I said before about chicks that look like the fucking roaches from Men in Black. Tell me she don't look like one of them motherfuckers. Oh, my God. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You old Plan. enough? To- What's huh? You old enough to know that movie? This this what we doing, Flame? This, this is why you invited me here, right? This is what we doing. This, this is why you doing? invited. Me. This is this is why I'm here. This is why As I'm you here. sip your Gatorade, this is what we doing. Facts. You was about to ask me a question though. What's going on, nigga? Fuck you. Oh, uh- <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome home. There we go. Yeah, exactly. But do you feel like a motherfucker like Sexy Brand, Sexy Red is holding females back? Or is hip hop just that fucked up now that it's like, you know what? This is what we should be listening to. You just an old hater if you don't like it. I mean, it, there's definitely an agenda being pushed because we know that there's other music out there and there are other successful female artists. And for whatever reason, you know, they don't get pushed to the forefront like some of this other music does. And, um, you know, I don't know exactly what the what the motivation. Well, I guess I know what the motivation is behind the agenda, but I think it's part. Of what is it? Be, they they don't want us. They want us to be in this spot. Like we seen, if you seen uh, what the they clone Tyrone, like they just turning us all into the same motherfucker over and over again. I seen that so, list of like the top fifty female rappers, and I was like, damn, y'all came up with fifty names for the same person because all these things. Here's what's crazy, right? <laughs> so I seen something the other day, and this dude was saying something, and, and I was like, wow, I never really thought about it that way. So let's think about this, right? All the women that's doing music, over-sexualized, but sound super stupid, super fucking stupid, and sound crazy. So if you, if you and they're, they're making it to where... Most women believe that they don't need a man or they don't have to have a man, all that type of shit. Then when it comes to men, they're trying to make us to the point where we are uh, super feminine, borderline gay, if you will. You know what I mean? You is so the now, at that point, you kind of de- destroying the black race, if you will, because now you're making... The women not give a fuck about the men. You're making the men not give a fuck about the women. You're making the women kind of, how did he say it? Uh, I guess feel more superior to a man, if you will. I know a lot of women don't want to hear that a man is superior and all that. I don't really care about all that sensitive shit, uh, (laughs) but it is what the fuck it is. Uh, But do you agree that it's kind of destroying us as black people the more that this music is being popularized. And I mean, we know that the the, the music industry, they're making money off of us, and they don't really give a fuck. If they can exploit us, they're going to exploit us, especially if you okay with it. I mean, it's definitely not helping. It ain't helping the situation. I mean, uh, it's, it's the socioeconomic thing first, because these people wouldn't be under pressure to make this music just to, to get a dollar if they, they felt like there were other ways for people to come up. Like, they, you know, a lot of people looking at it like the only shot I got is to go out here and, you know, shake my ass and make this song about my booty hole. So that's what they're going to do. If they thought they had other opportunities to make money, maybe they would. And they wouldn't take advantage of this shit. This, I do, yeah, I do agree with you. It's, it's fucking us up, but we got bigger issues. The fact that that actually is a song that people is, like, excited to hear. My pussy pink, my booty. I'm out of town, thugging with my rounds. My pussy pink, my booty hole brown. Hold on, what is, what is the name of this shit? It's, it's something in eggplants. What the fuck is it? Uh, I know y'all fucking heard this shit. Oh, the new it's, one. Um, guarantee you, I have not. Uh, fuck. I know humble heard this shit. It's, I haven't listened to it yet. It's something in eggplants. But I've seen I, it. So, post it. I'm I'm it's listening something to something in eggplants for sure. 
I got like uh I got I just got music playing. I'm at work and it's it's just like random music playing. And the shit comes on and in my mind I'm like, what the fuck am I listening to? This shit uh yesterday (laughs) is fucking horrible. Like and then I look and I see the name of it and I'm just like, wow, what the fuck are we doing? Peaches and eggplants. There you go. What are we doing that this is like who is that by? Ooh, like yeah. it's, it's Lotto, Sexy Red, and Young Nudie. When I say the Peaches worst shit I ever Peaches? heard. Peaches, yeah. So asses and dicks. But the thing is, it's not like it would be one thing if the lyrics was actually decent. It's it's it just sounds so it the just only sounds- I'm a, I haven't listened to the whole song. I don't mean to cut you off. I haven't listened, but the only thing that I heard that I thought was Funny as fuck was when Lotto said, "Give me neck, uh, give me that neck like Benzino." <laughs> Basically saying that nigga ain't got no neck. Oh, so give me the neck, oh. give me the neck like Benzino, and then she go further on to say some other shit, some clever shit to go with it. And I'm like, yo, that is really, really good. <laughs> like that was a good one. Is that what happened? Is that, huh? is that what happened to you, Savage? Now here. Yeah. Oh no! Nah, I just got oh, I just got on your hoodie today. That's why I ain't got no neck. My nigga came in here with the gloves off tonight. What's up, Flan? Who hurt you, my nigga? That you know what? I'm taking this motherfucking hoodie off. Fuck you and your birch, your bitch. Yo, <laughs> my nigga, my nigga. <laughs> Two days in a row. Yo, your bitch. Nigga, nigga, the bad part. I didn't even make it to Lotto verse because I heard like three bars into the song and I was like. I'm nah. cutting this shit off right the yeah. fuck now. Like, Lotto like, actually, like, Lotto actually give it a little something. I haven't listened to the whole thing, but I listened to her shit, and I'm like, okay, this sounds like some shit she says. But the whole "give me neck like Benzino." But if, yeah. if we be real about it, <laughs> we being real about it. This ain't this ain't new hip hop. The only difference is we had the same freaky shit, over sexualized shit when we was coming up. The only difference is there is there's nothing else. There's no balance. It's all this shit. And nothing else. Not, see, well, I don't think that's the I problem. Mean, but- because yes, we did have it back then, but the thing is, people said it in a way where it still made for a decent song. It's like now it's 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 not like all right, now that you put shit together. Hip hop yeah. used to be witty. It was like, like you had to think about this shit. <laughs> like check in with me. That's not, that's not <laughs> just some freak shit. That's all it was. No, nah, when you think about it, when you if you ain't got no teeth in your mouth and you gotta eat corn on the cob, you slobbing on it. So when he says slob on my knob, he wants you to slob on his knob like you missing all them fronts. That's what I got out of it. Why would you, you know it? I feel like that was a slight little jab right there, Laura. I'm just saying. <laughs> Nobody think about your toothless ass. Hilarious. Somebody think about your toothless ass, you bitch. I don't want nobody <laughs> toothless uh, going down there. No, you got to have some teeth. I like a little bit of the Hey, jet. man, I'm, listen, I'm skilled with yeah. this motherfucker missing. Fuck is you talking about? Oh, my God, bro. Fuck is you talking about? about Hold on. Me. I'm the one person who's never said anything about your missing tooth, ever. That's I have me. not either. Cause it it don't bother me. I don't I don't I don't do that. Yeah, toothless bitch. Fuck you too. How about that? Not you, Allure, but this little no neck having ass motherfucker. Oh, my nigga. Um, oompa looking, oompa looper looking there. But well, listen, so smoking this. Is this a better question? <laughs> Why are adults so easily persuaded by the music that they listen to? If you, if you, if they would just take the time to look at correction, say, correction. It's the adults that still think they're young. That are easily whoever, persuaded. whoever we're whoever we're talking about, we're talking about as a whole. A lot of people are susceptible to what they're hearing, but if you look at the people who are giving it to you, most of them aren't living that life. I go back to Cardi B. I go back to Meg The Stallion. They set you out here and tell you to be out here in these streets, but both nah, of them. Cardi, Cardi, I disagree. Cardi definitely was living that life, but not. But she not, not, not when she was she not when she was time. saying it. Not when she was talking it. She waited till after she got married. She waited till she yep. was in relationships. Well, she no, 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 no. Really, really, y'all just didn't know. Y'all just didn't hear it until after that. She had music out before that. That definitely it. talked all the shit that she talking now. No, no, no. no. She I get definitely was talking some crazy her, shit before. Why? Her, her music before wasn't even this uh, uh, vulgar. Her music before was like more gangster, like more yeah. thuggish. But she yeah. did have a few songs of the like, even that, this new. Supposedly fucking what part two bongo bullshit. 
That hey, that shit actually, that, that shit, shit is trash. fucking beat, a no, bomb. Listen. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. The beat, the no. beat is bananas. The beat, the beat is, is fucking bananas. ridiculous. And that's how they but get y'all. Y'all know me. I'm listening to lyrics. I listen to the, the lyrics. lyrics exactly. is still garbage. Listen, I didn't give a fuck about them lyrics. I played that bitch. You see, I know you seen it on my story. It's the beat. I don't give a fuck what they say. But you gonna tell me back chest like a bongo. Bitch, that means my ass going to do to do. I fucks with it. That means you hitting my shit right. My ass better look like a bongo when you hit me from the back. I didn't know they had a new song. Do, yeah, drop yesterday. Yeah. That beat, that beat though, that beat goes fucking absolutely. Nah, listen, the beat, they need a remix already. Fucking- the beat is bananas. Okay. I will I will most certainly say that. The beat is fucking bananas. They need a but, remix already, nigga. Who, what nigga jumping but, on it? Before I even heard the song, I heard about Oops. the song. So I'm uh-huh. like, all right. It's supposed to be, I guess, like a WAP part two type situation. Yeah. All right, let me check it out. We, we didn't need me personally, me personally, I felt like WAP could have been a lot better than it was. Mm-hmm. That's just me. I felt like that song could have been dope as fuck. But they they super dumbed down the lyrics, so to me it just wasn't good. That's just me. But again, another song with a dope ass fucking beat, which I think a lot of hip hop is now. I think a lot of hip hop oh, yeah. is crazy beats, a decent yep. hook, trash fucking trash lyrics. trash but, verses for but sure. Let me ask you, but let me ask you this question though, because we all know that Cardi has been rapping for a long time, just like uh, uh, Amarella the Great. My thing is, females, <laughs> they can't really get to mainstream unless they really talking about sex or something. That's just like women, like we, we you could be as skilled as you want to be and you're not going to get no support really, but you got to, you show a little skin, you push your boobs up a little bit, then you got some support and it's unfortunate because it's like, you know, that line from Players Club, sometimes you got to use what you got to get what you want or whatever he, she right. said. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, it's not like that for men. And I think that's why people like Sexy Red come out and rap. Because if you heard a few of her other songs, she don't really rap that that much about booty holes and stuff like that. I mean, she rap, she's always rapped a little like she rode the short bus and all. Nigga, she but, definitely rode the short bus. <laughs> but it wasn't... And that's terrorist people. <laughs> no. No, she is not representative of St. Louis. I'm sorry. That must be one of the no, ma'am. But, I mean, no, ma'am. I'm sorry. You know, men in hip hop have some similar struggles. Like you, your content has to be a certain way. We did that whole episode on nice. Scott too, and we talked about a dude who's definitely elite lyricist, makes dope music, beat selection crazy, but he's not gonna be your mainstream artist. Because he don't talk about the gangster shit. Because he don't about talk about drugs. Because he don't talk about fucking bitches. Like, mm-hmm. it's, and then it's, it goes back go to the same thing. question, Ra, who's, whose fault is it? Is it theirs or ours? Because if Personally, I feel like it's the consumer. And we don't listen, then that's It's definitely like- our, our fault because I, that's I what agree. we... It's, it's that's the what consumer we, for sure. That's what we want to hear. That's what we tell them we want to hear. That's as soon as they put it out, we blow that shit the fuck up. So they like... I don't- I don't think it's necessarily I don't think it's necessarily that we want to hear it. I think it's to the point where we're so numb to it that we feel like this is I had somebody tell me a long time ago, if a nigga ain't talking no gangster shit, he ain't saying nothing. And in my mind, I'm like, that's crazy because a nigga like Lupe say some dope shit. A nigga like uh, Kendrick say some dope shit. J. Cole, Uh dope shit. Fucking Talib, dope shit. But they don't have to talk about drugs, sex and, and, and dope. And fucking bitches and 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 oh, oh I robbed all these niggas things. and I got a car that looked like this. It's like at some point, like all right, we I was talking to somebody a couple weeks ago and we was talking about like lyricists, right? And they were saying how Jada Kiss is one of the best ever. And I'm like, all right, outside of him talking about he has a car the same color as something that never fucking existed, what actually makes him fucking dope? Because he literally puts that in every fucking verse. So if he takes that out of yeah. every verse, that's at least four him. bars gone instantly. Don't, him, don't, him, man. don't do that. That's not listen. Necessary. I'm not. I'm not hating on Jada at all. I think Jada one of the best that has ever done it. But if you take out the fact that I got a car the same color as a fucking moon rock on fucking Saturn, which does we don't know what the fuck that shit look like, but it's like oh my goodness, it's the same color as some shit from Saturn. So it got to be fucking dope. Oh, that got to be the hottest line ever. Like. That's just what the fuck it is. It is what it is. Like, 
Y'all may not agree. I don't fucking give a shit. It is what it is. I feel like lyrics don't have to just be based off one thing. I feel like just being a female MC, you don't have to talk about how much dick you suck to make you a good lyricist. Me personally, some of my favorite lyricists didn't talk about sex as a female. Me personally, some of my favorite male artists don't talk about gangster shit. But are they selling like the people who are? It's, are they making money like the people who are? So let me ask you a question. Who's selling? Who's selling that? Cardi definitely selling. Cardi's, Cardi's not selling. selling. What, Cardi, what happens is Cardi gets streams off one song and that's it. It's not about selling anymore. It's about how many streams can I get from this one fucking song? We got. We can't look at it just streams. You got to look at it as opportunity. When she the last time you bought streams, an album? Right? When the last time you bought an album? I don't buy. Listen. Oh, okay then. First of all, I Nobody album. buys albums. I I Everybody streams. <laughs> Everybody listen, streams, and most people don't listen. stream full albums. They stream what's the popping song right now. No, I stream. I would stream a full album if it's worth it. Like I would listen to the album, and if I'm feeling how do you know it, if it's like, worth it if you don't it, listen to it? A lot of people won't go listen to an album. That's part of the problem right there. But see, I'm from the school of the old school. Mm. I do like to oh, too. Okay, you heard it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold the, the fuck up. School. Hold the fuck up. This nigga cut his fucking hair. Hey, so listen, I ain't gonna lie. In my Yo, mind, what the fuck? So here's the crazy I know part, who right? the fuck that was no, no, when no, I just looked up. up from my phone. I looked at my cup, right? And I'm like, all right, am I drunk right now, or Yo. this nigga got his hair pulled back, or what the fuck, or is he also pimp shit? Like, nigga. I know you do porn, my nigga, but you turning into a pimp now too? Like, what the fuck is okay. going on here? We got the Hi. nigga hectic in the building. Yo, I looked up from my motherfucking phone and was like, "Who is this?" And then I looked again. I'm like, "Wait, what the fuck?" Hey. No. Yes, his hair uh, he cut his fucking hair off. Damn, nah, nigga, like, don't sip no like, fucking oh, tea, man. nigga. Don't sip no fucking tea, nigga. What's up with you, Slime? What's happening? What the hell? <laughs> What's yeah, happening? I, like, people don't cut their hair every day. Why Shut up, tell her, mind your business. Bye. Exactly. If you Bye. cut your hair, we're going to say the same shit. Matt, they went through a whole on, fucking on, like two bad, weeks of me cutting my life. Not, so I can't say that. No, nah, I was going. I was going to. I was going to say that I did the Annie, but you know what I mean. I ain't want to. You already coined it. You <laughs> did. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. I showed up one day with him. I showed up the next to no hair. The niggas like, what the fuck just happened here? Uh, yeah. I, I need to understand. So Hector get an Annie pass? Hold <laughs> on. Hold on. <laughs> no, he don't. Flair, he don't. I was about to get him. Don't worry about it. I bet. <laughs> wrong hey, name, hey, wrong hey, time, hey, nigga. Hey, <laughs> plan. Like, nah, hey, hey, plan. Is coming. Is Raymo the not here, cuz you still safe. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm still sexy, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, we don't do that, my nigga. So listen, <laughs> <laughs> not on this motherfucking show, we ain't doing that shit, nigga. I just got what? He knew what yeah. the yeah. fuck he was doing. Yeah, you ain't you ain't pulling out no jalapenos on this show. <laughs> what the fuck is you Extra about? spicy. Exactly. So listen, this is what we're going to do. In honor of this is a happy hour type of episode. So we're going to play some music, play some as music? always. And we're going to allow... So here's the thing, ladies... Gentlemen, uh, Flan, don't get wow. upset tonight, Flan. Wait, I know wait, how you're yeah. up when we oh, play I thought you were singling him out. I nah, because th- Flan be mad as shit sometimes. Oh, okay. Like, I thought you were singling the nigga out. I'm like, damn. Uh, he is old. None of them He's in the man or woman. Flan, just listen, sometimes when we play music <laughs> on, on a happy hour, Flan be low-key upset at myself and easy. And it's not like we doing it on purpose. But Flan just fucking hate garbage ass rappers. It is what the fuck it is. It's no way around that. I am the way I am. <laughs> that you is, are. Nigga. That you are. You. Yo, but, Flan, nobody will never yeah, understand why you say that shit. Uh, <laughs> you, said that, you said Flan's one year older than you? Yeah. Flan is two years older than this nigga. See how many oh, well, years older? One. It's one. It's a couple one. months. It ain't nothing serious. Flynn, 10 years older than this nigga. Why they Hold on, it. time out, time out, because I feel like she about to try it. Go ahead, try your shit. Go ahead. Go ahead, try your shit. Try your shit, Allure. I feel like you about to try it. Go ahead, I oh, dare I you. I thought it was me. I about to say, I, I dare you, because you're going to get me. 
I dare you. Go ahead, try it. Go ahead. I shoot back. That's cool. <laughs> I shoot back. What you know. I, I shoot, shoot a lot. My stay, my clip stay loaded. That's cool. I don't know. <laughs> All know I not said a clip. was he was good for his oh, age. Oh, I thought she said I, clip. I, <laughs> why, Hector? Why? Yo, everything, no, everything is not a porn reference, no, Hector. No. Everything is not a fucking porn reference, my nigga. Yo, this cat. He said, 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 he yeah, I really don't know like... what the fuck is wrong with you motherfuckers sometimes. <laughs> I don't get it. But it is what it is. Listen, so I'm going to play a song, and here's what we do. Here's how we do with the happy hour. For those of you who may not have ever heard the happy hour or have not been in attendance for when we talk about music. So the one thing for certain two things for sure as an artist, it's 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 one thing to stroke a motherfucker ego. Pause. But at the at the... Nah, it's okay. That's a pause nah, 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 nah. You know what? You know what? You right. Super pause on that one. You absolutely right. Beyonce fucked it all up for for. So I can't even say that. It is what the fuck. Oh, because you got a big ego. <laughs> you, it, it, you right. It is. <laughs> all right. Is. All right. I get it. Hey, wait. Hold on. Before you go on, I paused the white person at work the other day. And he like what? What do so, you mean? Yo, so white people, can y'all chill with that for real? I ain't, so I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> oh I'm at work. Don't be I'm at work all now, week. Y'all. I'm at work all week, and everybody kept saying shit and in my mind. I'm like, bro, I I don't know how long before I could be like, <laughs> y'all just gotta relax in this motherfucker because y'all just saying way too much out of pocket shit. And it's like I'm new here, so I don't want to just end up, just be that guy from the beginning. But it's like. At some point, it's like, yo, <laughs> y'all gotta relax in this motherfucker. Real fucking shit. But you were talking about it? sucking eggplants earlier when you were talking about that song. You didn't pause yourself then. So oh, you I keep... missed that too. So, what? so you will keep. So, first of all, the fact that the fact that I never said that for one. So, super pause for saying that shit, Tara. I fucking owe you already, and you just want to keep adding to it. Cool. Well, if you keep I'm... messing with me, I'm gonna nah, keep that's cool. Nah, with nah, nah, nah. Fuck all that shit. Oh fuck God. all of that shit. Uh, Ain't no backing uh, down now, motherfucker. Uh, I look, got you. Don't worry. Look, I'm putting all this shit. Like this. Y'all want to talk about sucking on getting... right plans? All of this shit is getting written down, Tara. I'm right. fucking telling you. I'm telling you. When Man, it happens, I'm the homebagger now. Fuck you, me. <laughs> Listen, she fucking with church's money right now. You fucking up with house money. But listen, here's the thing. I'm going to play a song, and I want y'all to actually listen to the song and be honest. The worst thing you could do for an artist is tell an artist that a song is good if it's not actually good. Now, we all know that music is subjective. Just because you don't feel a song is good don't mean somebody else won't. But it's nice to know why you specifically don't like this song because you aren't the only person that's going to feel that way. So when I ask y'all how y'all feel about the song, keep it a bean. Don't be like, oh my goodness, they did music and they're creative, so they're amazing. <laughs> Fuck no, we ain't about to sit here and coddle none of these motherfuckers. We keeping it a bean. It is what the fuck it is. If you feel like the song is ass, yo, the song was ass, that nigga wasn't saying shit. Yo, the song was ass, that bitch ain't say nothing. <laughs> Whatever you got to say, Talk your shit. Okay, Tara? Understood. Does that work for you, Tara? That works for me. Okay. I just hope that you, Flan, and Allura aren't angry as y'all normally are, and we can get this shit going. So we're going to play some motherfucking music. Here go the first song. Let's get it. Tell me if I'm coming off forward, but let me know. I don't really know how to approach this. Uh, we can go to dinner talking over such and such. But at the end of the night, I want to know if, hey, there's any plans of you taking me. Where we going? Up to your room, watch your A&E. Uh, first 48 on the screen, but we never saw the scene. Why? Because I was trying to murder that. 
team. You know the feeling when the vibe's right. When you can talk to them all night. When you're curious enough about their real life. But you really trying to see them in the dim light. We can talk about the zodiac signs and share fries. Discussing our dreams over warm apple pie. Yeah, this shit cool and all, I can't lie. But really, we just wanna be naked and getting high. Danced all night, probably drank too much. But this late night food truck came in clutch. A side of fries in the lift on the ride home. Hands touching on the inner thigh zone Staring at each other like we know what's next what's Then you sent your best friend that text what's You know next? the one, I'm home, I had fun Girl, I'm going to bed okay. But you stand up with me instead You already know Tell me if I'm coming off forward, but Let me know I don't really know how to approach this uh, We can go to dinner talking over such and such But at the end of the night I wanna know if Hey, there's any plans if you taking me Where we going? Up to your room, watch your A&E uh, First 48 on the screen, but we never saw the scene Why? Cause I was trying to murder that team Let's put on a movie and get comfortable, get comfortable. Had a pretty fun night, something comfortable, something comfortable. Getting cozy together under the comfort Until we get to doing what we really wanted to uh, Breakfast in the morning if you cook it, up. cook it up But if you need some coffee, I could coffee hook it up Walk a shame to the next time uh, Get that text like I really had the best time Shit, yeah, me too, you know, I'm glad we linked up, shit was fun, you know, hit me up later if you wanna like, watch Pam and Tommy or some shit, peace. All right, all right, all right, all right. Tara, how you feel about that joint? I'm not going first. I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> the fuck do it matter? Okay, here we We're go. With angry doing. shit. Alora D. Nasty, how you feel about that joint? I feel like the song had potential. I feel like um, I feel like it's an unfinished product, though. I really do. I feel like he needs someone to kind of really sing in a hook. I heard someone come in and sing a Bit, I feel like the song can resonate with women a little bit more because I can tell that's the target audience. Um, the beat was okay. I thought it was all right. It wasn't bad. I just think that I think that he should go back to the drawing board a little bit, add a little bit more to it. Okay, okay. Hectic. How you feel about that joint? Got bars. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Um, Heck, Hectic's still on tilt from last week, so that's all <laughs> that shit is. So, um, I oh, didn't like the hi hats. I definitely didn't like the hi hats. I I kind of like the intro, but like kind of like Alora said, something about the beat there was not enough oomph to it. Um, it does sound like he it wasn't all the way done. Like maybe it's the first draft, second draft, something like that. The the context is good. I like what he was talking about, but like it was just not enough to like really, really like pull not only pull me in, but keep me there as well. Cause I I got distracted. Like it was easy to just do something else. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh Tara, you, you ready to talk now or no nope. you still upset over there? I'm not upset. If you don't like the song, just say you don't like the song. No, You're not going to hurt nobody. I'll go, go. I'll go when I want to go. Oh, shit. Oh, this is what mm. we're doing tonight. Mm. Roger the fuck that. Savagely humble. Talk your shit. You already know how I feel about the song. That's my song. <laughs> That's my shit. Been my shit from the first time I heard it. I do agree with y'all. It need more to it. I've actually told him it need more to it. So I agree with y'all on that. It definitely is an unfinished product. It would be actually better if he added some more shit to it. But that's my shit right there. Added sure. some more shit like what? Added another uh, feature, another verse. Like Alora said, somebody singing the hook. For sure. It would give it a, a even sexier vibe. Because that's what the beat is really for. That's why you, That's why I didn't catch the oomph too much. Because it's supposed to have been like that. It's supposed to have been like a super mellow type of situation. Yeah. No, you can still be mellow and still have, you know what I mean, like a full plate. It no, was, no, no, like, I agree. You know? But it was one of those, like, symphony-type shits. Really, he didn't need the drums. He could have said that shit without drums. 
Can you run the beat real quick? I feel like if you if you if you do too if, if you add too much to a song like that, to me, you will actually away. take away from it. Mm-hmm. Like me personally, I feel like that song is. If you want to say it could be mixed better, yeah. If you want to, I wouldn't. I'm sitting here as y'all saying. I'm thinking to myself, like, Art, right, if you had a female singing the verse, would it make a difference? Not I don't think really. if a female. I don't think if a female a was singing male. the verse, it would be better. I just think even if you somebody, somebody came in already and did a little bit, and I wanted more of that. When I heard somebody say whatever they hummed on, that's how I was saying if you could run the beat back real quick because. Whoever came in, it was like I thought it was about to pick up. I was like, okay, it's about to snap. But then it went. It back literally back was to, one person the whole time. I don't know. No, who the other on the one, it, it is uh, like a singing voice. Come on, coffee like, in the like, morning. That? that was yeah, him. coffee in the morning. That was him. But see, that's been. That oh, that was him. Thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> that could have been a thing. Like so, basically, so basically, if like, he would have sung his own hook, it would have changed things. Y- y'all saying probably so. Probably yeah, so, would, but it's still my shit ran, though. If you'd ran that beat back, I was gonna try to give him a little bit of help, but you know, okay. <laughs> that beat's gone, no, Lord. Yeah, exactly. It's a rap for that. I don't play shit. Like <laughs> <laughs> she was still looking for that beat. Where is that though? In fact, how you feel like, about that joint? stuff like with stuff like that, it just stays in my head because now the beat gonna be in my head all night, and then I'm gonna be sitting here with a damn magic marker trying to do it. Every Easy to general beat, Apple Music. There you go. Every go time look I hear that up. beat, it gets stuck in my head every single time. That's just every me. single time. I actually, me personally, I actually really I like simplistic beats though. I'm from the 90s where I listen to a lot of simplistic beats. So for me, I don't need a whole like I think now we so trained to hearing so much in beats that it's like the beat got to be like a a sensory overload for it to be a good beat. I don't but know the, I don't need that, that myself. Because uh-huh. Griselda, the Griselda group, they their beats really simple, but they have some oomph to it. They actually aren't if you really listen to them. What it is is they rap with a simplistic style, so it sounds like the beat itself is simplistic. Their beats aren't simplistic at all. Mm-hmm. None of them shits. If you if you talk to a motherfucker that do beats, if you talk to a motherfucker that really really listen to beats, they will tell you. There is a lot in their beats if you really, really listen to them. But you got to remember, the average person don't really listen to all the sounds in a beat. But what like, I'm saying by simplistic, it's not like it's not like if you heard uh, DJ Khaled or uh, Cardi B or uh, you know what I mean, a Twenty One Savage. It's not. So it's the not fact that, that you name it, beat. The fact that you naming people who need the beat to carry them that that changes things. No, but but that's what I'm not, saying. The beat, the beat with Griselda is not. If you put Twenty One Savage on a basic beat, nobody would listen. If you put Cardi B on a basic beat, nobody would fucking listen. Their yeah, beats I, I carry that. Cardi's had a little basic beats, Bro. and they was all right. Her songs did really. Cardi well has on never YouTube. been on a basic beat. Mainstream. She never needs beats beat. to carry her. Bro, can I ask a question? Sure. Hello? That was easy. Yeah. So how old is that? Uh that's from 83. So that came out what last year? Last year? Yeah. Cause I was I didn't know it was easy. And listening to it, I would have thought like I'd like to hear do over better production. Cause that sound like like a fruity loops beat. That's a, that was a couple loops, you know, with some basic can hi-hats and a snare that came in. Like it wasn't, it wasn't very much to it. And I know what easy can do. And that like I didn't get like a memorable bar from that. Like I can't quote you back anything he said in that song. Like he was rhyming, but none of the bars like hit in a way. One thing I will say, and he he explained this to me, that song is not supposed to be like a quotable, rememberable type situation. That's actually like a real life story. So to him, it was one of those but songs for the songs album type shit. Story. That was a that was a song for the album. That wasn't necessarily something to promote. That's not like an interlude or song. Like it's a skit between songs. It actually, it actually is an interlude to the next song on the album. I, I can see that. I'm about to say it really is. And a long track. <laughs> and a long track. That's mm-hmm. yeah. no. I definitely expect more. See, I didn't I didn't play it necessarily to be like one of those super standout songs. I played it just to kind of like that's like a palette song. That's one of those, all right, I heard something. Let me see 
what I heard. You get what I'm saying? Let me explain what I just heard. Not just necessarily, a, oh, this is an over-the-top type of song. I'm just glad y'all said it was easy because I was about to go in. But uh, mm. No, go ahead. Oh, talk your take the side, nigga. Talk, talk your, first of all, you already know how that's easy rock. Nigga, first of all, shit. hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, that's a super mega pause because what are you about to go in on right. easy? Oh, fine. So let's, just, let's start there. Appreciate you. But fuck that. Don't no, no, give shit. I'm just glad I, I ain't have to say it. Roger that. that. It, was, it was a very, very basic beat. Like that's that's it sound that sound like a fruity loops beat. That sound like a couple different loops. Like nothing really changed. There wasn't a lot of variation in it. All the sounds was mad simple, you know. And then the flow sort of matched that. Like I said, no real memorable bar, no nothing that like stood out. And I know what easy can do. So yeah, like it did make me think like dude can rhyme and I would like to hear what he sound like over better production, but that one wasn't it. Mm -hmm. Roger the fuck that. Let's get into but the next why, song real but quick. But why, why ask questions like that if you guys don't get real feedback and then y'all get offended? Shouldn't shouldn't his music be heard by people that are not friends or know him? That way he can get real feedback I can tell from you, the people. I can tell you now, I can tell you now, easy would appreciate y'all more being keeping it a bean then y'all to be like oh he was amazing he's an artist don't don't sure. talk about him like that he would appreciate that more to hear feedback again a lot of artists don't get a chance to play their music in front of enough people to get that honest feedback mm -hmm. so a lot of times especially in the underground you put out music and then you wait to see what happens mm -hmm. some people gonna be honest with you some people gonna be like oh i know you so oh yeah it's good it's you like nah like be honest with me. If my shit was garbage, tell me that shit was fucking garbage. Let me go back to the drawing board. Maybe I could tweak some shit, fix some shit, and make it better. Like, I think he can, and I think the, the song could really slap. I mean, I get it that y'all like it, who knows him and all that, but... <laughs> I don't... It don't, I don't, it don't have nothing to do with knowing him. I was about to say, it has nothing to do with me <laughs> knowing him. I mm -hmm. actually... Because I listened to the song and I'm like, yo, like I resonated with what he was saying in the song. That's what made me like the song. And and hey, remember, you know the typical the typical listener has to listen to a song multiple times multiple before times. they can digest yes. it. Absolutely. And that's not that's not one of those songs where, right. like, honestly, if you never listen to the album, you would never hear that song. That's not even a song that he has ever pushed ever. And in me knowing like, Easy, all the issues I have with that song, I know he's evolved past. That's why the first question I asked you was how old it is. Because I know Easy's current stuff, you know, is, is on a completely different level. It was from the album that dropped in November. I don't, but he probably made it. I've heard of the stuff he's making now and that are two different things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Somebody, right, somebody, somebody probably gave him some good feedback and he tweaked it. <laughs> I'm not sure that album is out. It's all retweaking at this point. Oh, the song is the song. The song got the song is all right. It can go really go because I like where he says about the 48 hours, but on TV watch 48. It's the hours, Hulu and, and chill for me. It's the Hulu and chill. Yeah, I, yeah. He said multiple Hulu things in that motherfucker. Where that's what caught me. The I'm song like, is literally okay. called Hulu and Chill. It's literally okay. about like linking up. With a chick, this is how it went down when I first got them buns, all that type of shit. Like it's the song. See, this goes back to when we were saying, what the fuck like, are you giggling for? When I first got them buns, like who the hell says that? <laughs> that nigga. He first got <laughs> some fucking pussy. Like what the fuck? Like oh the same like, shit. Who, God knew, damn it. who knew we would do Hulu and chill? It's been mm -hmm. a little while. Yeah, like, that's what. That's know. literally. That's literally what the whole if the whole song is about wait, wait, meeting a chick and the first literally that whole song is about the first night he met the chick. But isn't it Hulu cheaper than Netflix? <laughs> no, we who gives a fuck, fuck that's, nigga? That's, that's that you <laughs> give that's the fuck point. Hey, who gives a fuck, <laughs> nigga? <laughs> We're going too far. Hulu, Hulu's better than Netflix. You thought too <laughs> deep into that motherfucker. <laughs> Facts. Like, this is what happened when niggas cut their hair. They just started thinking about <laughs> random. The brain is wide shit, open like, now. <laughs> the brain hey, getting more oxygen and shit. A bunch of my subscription sites. Shit, I know how much them shits are. Nigga, brain getting more oxygen. He like, wait a minute. Isn't that cheaper? 
For Man, what? Especially, especially he don't get the ad free shit. That's... <laughs> Yo. All right, let's get it. Let's get it to the next. Because mine's is one ninety nine at the moment. Fuck you, man. We gonna keep this shit rolling. <laughs> My nigga two for the goat, these other niggas basic. basic. Yeah! Huh? <laughs> Is this thing gone? Them boys ain't really with it. Is you niggas riding the bus? Slide through, I'ma send it. Is you niggas riding the bus? You started, I'ma end it. Is you niggas riding the bus? Ain't going back and forth with these niggas, you riding the bus. Spinning your corner with the extensions, you riding the bus. It ain't no talking fees about this business, you riding the bus. I'm about to send my boys on a mission, you riding the bus. If you want it, come get it. Is you niggas riding the bus? These niggas tough on the internet, fuck is y'all doing? Ten niggas with one stick on the strip, who the fuck is y'all fooling? When I point, they all shooting, so when this war, we all moving. The go and lay a nigga strip down, the only time that we call bullet. It'll get hot, I'm quick to take the shot like I'm James. Worthy, but I'm a boss with a bag, so I ain't gotta get my hands no. dirty. Went and put the word out, a few bands on his ass. And your life ain't that expensive, so you know I'ma pay the tag. I don't know how to use the brakes, my foot always on the gas. With a Glock 17, with 17 bodies in the mag. I've been the shit, it's still the shit, so don't forget, you know what's up. They say my name and I pull up, you niggas riding the what? What up? Them boys ain't really with it. Is you niggas riding the what? Slide through, I'ma send it. Is you niggas riding the what? You started, I'ma end it. Is you Niggas riding the bus, ain't going back and forth with these niggas. You riding the bus, spinning your corner with the extensions. You riding the bus, it ain't no talking fees about this business. You riding the bus, I'm about to send my boys on a mission. You riding the bus, if you want it, come get it. Is you niggas riding the bus? When it's hunting season, we squeeze until they catch us. Two, two, threes. I have a nigga lean like he from Texas, extending stop, chopping blocks when I up it. But no Tetris, I run through your whole line when I bust it. Jerome better, he get the message in my section. We reckless, reckless with a weapon And get people throwing the fish fry Told, Told these niggas, niggas not to test us Keep that tough talk to a minimum Cause I don't like being disrespected no. Say the wrong shit And like a rubber band, I'ma stretch I'm always packing, never lacking Keep a ratchet by the gut Shit, it get tragic when I'm clapping See how fast they pick them up And don't ever think that I'm alone I keep a savage in the cut And he don't talk, just ready to bust You niggas riding the what? What up? Them boys ain't really with it Is you niggas riding the what? Slide through, I'ma send it Is you niggas riding the what? You start I'ma end it. Is you niggas riding the bus? Ain't going back and forth with these niggas. You riding the bus? Spinning your corner with the extensions. You riding the bus? It ain't no talking fees about this business. You riding the bus? I'm about to send my boys on a mission. You riding the bus? If you want it, come get it. Is you niggas riding the bus? <laughs> Plan, how you feeling about that joint? Oh yeah, bars was there, but uh, I seen a, a a baby freestyle recently, and the comment was, uh, "That beat is whooping that nigga's ass," and that's how I felt listening to this. Uh, damn, he was, working, <laughs> he was working entirely too hard to try to stay on that beat and work with the beat. Nah, like, nah, 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 it shouldn't be that hard. It shouldn't be that hard. He was. was that you, know what, you know what, friend? He was. Nah, 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 that beat was whooping his ass. That's got to be the line of the fucking century right there. Roger the fuck that, my nigga. It had the exact opposite problem to me of the, the other joint. Like, that's that's a moment where you don't need a nigga singing the hook. I don't need a nigga singing his. You ride new what? Like, that's, nah, we don't we don't need to do that. Um, we don't need to. Like, nigga, I'm trying to catch my breath for one. Like, 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 the gangster shit. Like, just, yeah. I don't know. That, that's how I feel about it. But, yeah, they, that's the detailed stuff. Like, you got to be able to cut some syllables out. I'm back on my syllable game. Oh, no shit. I'm saying cut a few syllables out so you can get that bar out a little easier and don't have to rush it and sound like you're working too hard. My nigga That's playing be mad as shit at these motherfucking rappers. And these syllables, nigga. Get fuck the syllables, man. Work on your syllables. I'm sorry. All right, I'm done. Tara, can you talk? <laughs> I've always been able to talk. Okay, so how you feel about the song? Or or damn the nigga say nothing right now. I don't want to go. Um, it seemed a little too chaotic to me. I didn't okay. like like it seemed like it was it was just too much going on and it needs to be cleaned up. So for me, when he was whoever the hell that was that was all computerized and high pitched like uh Roger and Zap, that 
That doesn't make any sense to me. And when he was <laughs> rapping, the echo of him rapping was like too delayed. Like I don't, I don't understand. He need to clean it up, and then it wouldn't be so bad to me. It just seemed offbeat, off kilter, and chaotic. Okay, okay. I feel like I don't even need to ask the rest of you motherfuckers because y'all all was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I want to point out the, I want to point out the bars because. Let me tell you, when he said... Uh, this motherfucker got her notebook and pen? My <laughs> nigga! <laughs> Listen, I, I say what y'all want about that motherfucker. My nigga, talk your shit, son. Go ahead, motherfucker. Read your notepad. Because that bitch be having that pen and paper. She be taking notes all the time. Can you read it? <laughs> you, Alora? We waiting on you. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what, the fuck? Like, like, <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck going on around here? Yo, how you doing smoking you high as giraffe pussy? What's going on right there? Oh my god. He had a Mitch McConnell know. moment. Y'all, I be my brain is in overload, y'all. No, but he did he had some he had some I forgot what he said, but it was like his <laughs> his, his his bars was there. He definitely whoever wrote the song. I, I definitely like that if if you're riding or what and how he's gonna split the the block and it just the song actually really really made no sense shit, uh, and it made you want to like it made me want to go get my bitches and spin the block on a couple of holes that I got some beef with right now. I specifically <laughs> said like, she only fucked the gangster shit. Only gangster shit. So I mean I was Don't feeling it, but I do agree, I do agree the beat was. It was too much for him to try to, because he had to start trying to rap it fast, and you could tell he was out of breath. He really did force that out. For me, that would be my biggest criticism, because if he, I feel like he needed to stop smoking. If I don't know if he smokes, or he needs to practice cardio, because he doesn't. That nigga be like this. That nigga be like this. He just, he just really need to. If he would have been this. able to be on that beat, I think the song was really dope. And because it is kind of like an underground song, I'm not gonna trip on his uh, uh what Tara was saying, like um, kind of like the auto tune kind of sound of thing, because I know that's kind of common. Uh, but I was feeling it because it took me back to underground, some underground songs that I heard in the '90s, and it gave me that vibe. So I was feeling that. See, that's it interesting. Like that's the, the first I'm song did to me. The first song felt like the '90s, like chill. I've done that before. My homegirl called me. I'm like, yeah, I'm doing it. You wait till we play it. another song to fucking say it. Well, anyway, <laughs> I'm just saying it was a vibe for me, and it's like I don't know. I remembered everything he said in that song, but I just wanted to hear what y'all had to say because I like that song, and I've been listening to music from then lately, so it just fit for then me. Why you couldn't say Super. you like the song? What the fuck? Because you were trying when to boss me down, and you don't run me. That's why. Yo, what the fuck when is up with you and this outrun you shit? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> when he said, are you riding or what? It put me on the mind of fuck them other niggas. Because I'm down for my niggas. Oh, me personally, me personally I fuck with that song heavy. Um, That's just me. But I'm a lyrics person. So to me, I'm listening to what he was actually saying in the mm -hmm. song. That's what resonated for me in the song. Yeah, I felt not like even the fact that I actually know the nigga. It's just the song itsself. <laughs> I actually fuck with and that. Oh, beat what's, the name of that what's the name of that song? Because I actually like the, that. Uh, She's about to go on Shazam. It. The song is called "Riding the What." Uh, the artist is the Bull Feast. The first I, name, the first Bull Feast. Are you niggas riding the bus? The Bull Feast. So what? F e F E S S E Feast. Uh, me personally, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I didn't like. I didn't like the hook. Hold up the the bull feast. Yeah, that's his name. The nigga. So so here's the thing. Here's what I will say. A lot of people. A lot of people in the underground. They do something that me personally, me and you actually just talked about the other day, and a lot of people don't understand. So when you come out with something, your name has to be the same on everything. So his name is Feast Bills, but when he put this project out, he put it under the Bull Feast. So if you're looking for Feast Bills, you'll never find this album, which is not good when it comes to marketing. But a lot of artists don't understand when you market your name is your name is your name. Don't keep switching it up. Don't keep changing shit. Don't deviate. Don't a lot of artists, it's times where... 
I'll hear a song and I'll try to look for a motherfucker Instagram and they IG is some completely fucking different than their actual fucking artist yep. name, which yep. makes no fucking sense. <laughs> so nobody can find you because you keep you got Changing. all these 36, 37, 900 the only, different fucking names. The one only name, way they you can find them only. But look, the only way you can find them is if they have that name that you know in their bio or as Facts. their name on the profile. That's the only way you can find them with that name. Facts. And you can add it to keywords too. You can add it to keywords too. So that anything yeah, but that's, but that's the thing. Name. Your name is your name. Put that one name on every fucking thing. Stop trying to be catchy with one like Facebook, IG, Twitter, I'm Everything sorry, X, same. fucking uh Twitter and Snapchat, nigga. fucking everything the same. Everything is I, a different I, I can tell you, I can tell you a story. I got a I got interviewed like my first year in, and all my social media was just different shit. <laughs> and then the deal was like, why don't you just put everything hectic desires? And I was like, oh, nigga said, oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's not smart. If you search for me. You gonna find two things: raw sass or all on the table. You're never gonna find nothing else. If you search all on the table, all my raw sass shit pop up. If you search raw sass, all my all on the table shit pop up. There's no need to have a thousand different fucking names. It yeah. makes no fucking sense. I don't understand why artists do this shit and wonder why people don't know where they at, can't find them. Your Instagram and your fucking uh your name on your album should be the same. Mm -hmm. Just that simple. I look for your Instagram and I, and I find you on IG and I'm like, oh shit, you know what? Their music is kind of dope, especially if you don't got links in your fucking bio. Assholes. Now I'm searching for you on whatever music platform. Also, hold on. I got. I feel like I got to say this, right? Say it. This is something that's starting to annoy me with a lot of you fucking artists, right? <laughs> Apple, I'm sorry iTunes is not the only way to listen to fucking music, dumbass. Uh, that's an Android using ass nigga right now. <laughs> no, no, because some people use Spotify. Some hey, people YouTube. use Amazon. Some people use YouTube. Some people use fucking I, whatever the fuck you use. Some people use <laughs> fucking, it's a I lot know. of streaming platforms out there. Stop just putting it's your music that. on I, on I, whatever the fuck bullshit. Apple Music. Use Apple, Distro Kids. Use one of them other distribution places that, that put your shit put out to everything. Here, it's going to blow. Everybody don't use the same thing. Put it That's every fact. fucking where. The There's too many to apps that can allow you to put your music on too many things at one time. Stop the being lazy if you want people to hear you or stop fucking complaining that nobody hears your fucking music. Well, y'all ain't downloading them. I'm gonna put it on one site that automatically I'm gonna puts be it on everything you. else. If Laura D. Nasty put out a mixtape, I am not gonna listen because I feel like <laughs> that's gonna be all the ratchetest shit that I could possibly hear. And I can't do that all at one time. It is what it is. But oh my God. what would make you think what would make you think you would get ratchet music from me? You crazy. First still. of all, you the hood, you one of the hoodest niggas I know. So to assume that you was gonna do something besides hood shit, yeah. That's the first time I ever heard that. No, it ain't. Cause I tell you, every, I tell you every time I talk to you, you were the hoodest niggas I know. Fuck you, you I only hear that from you and Annie. I've never heard. I've never been hood in my life. Flange is scared to say it, but don't worry about it. We will get into the next motherfucking song. Let's keep this shit rolling. And me. Mola. Do I? Niggas better get off your ass. Yeah, yeah. Get to it, nigga. Look, I ain't in the procrastination. I just know and get it. No bullshit and stay committed, completing the mission. Why right. niggas sitting on they ass don't want to play the victim? Yeah. But yeah. when that money talks, I'm all ears. I sit and listen. Uh -huh. See, when they talk about a hustler, I fit the description. No, I ain't talking Bobby Seals, but I'm one of them niggas. Uh -huh. And I ain't in no competition, but a nigga Not winning. Stay optimistic, plot and plan, and I go out and get it. I follow my vision, staying focused on my concepts. It starts with the mindset, it's all a process. You start from the bottom, climb steps. 
progress And I've been grinding my whole life, it ain't stopped yet And I'ma do it for infinity, bet them niggas remember me Hard code is the winner, he fuck haters in they energy Ballin' like fuck a injury, count bands and join my end of peace So when you catch me doing me, just let a nigga be Lately I'm feeling chosen like I'm the one, like shit ain't been fun, that shit involves getting fun I'm chasing Sarah the lead bread and I want every single crunch I got a lot of shit to do before it's all said and done I need a million dollar crib, a hundred acres on the hilltop Rack stuffed in my jeans, oh my pockets spilled nuts That's a picture perfect scene, I capture a steel shot How backwoods and life, no I don't peel pop I Ain't really in the fashion, just get fresh for the fuck of it I want it, I'ma buy it, I ain't really in the budget And ain't got too many opinions for that public shit Don't got a voice of when you know how real niggas feel about that sucker shit, my vibration been on a different way I don't make time for it if the shit don't make sense Take a while for the love, but niggas gon' hate quick Fuck it, cause whatever side you on, gon' with his greatness Do I? Nation Do I? Niggas ain't fucking with me, nigga Not on no level the Nation in this bitch Yeah, yeah, yeah I Better get your shit together That's it? That was quick. How much can I she she said. take this one first for all? Yes, you can. That's what she <laughs> said. <laughs> <laughs> so, at first, I heard I was like, oh, this is terrible. I heard, at first, when I heard him say, yeah, 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 something like that, I automatically thought it was about to be one of those other motherfucking songs. But I like this one. He was able to rap on beat for me. Uh, his bars was the I. I like when he said he's after that Sarah Lee Brady gonna eat every crumb. Maybe um, that was the line right okay, there. Okay. The line. okay. And then <laughs> what he was saying about um, he had a plan and he was gonna accomplish it basically. And I was like, okay, he really put thought behind these bars. I don't know if he writ he he wrote it or whoever wrote it. It put thought behind that. So that right there. Like just, I would have changed the radio automatically on the first part though, but the more I listened to it, I was like, okay, I, I'm feeling this. I will listen to that song. Okay, okay, okay. Hector, how you feel about that joint? Okay. <laughs> uh, that's that's it, huh? Okay, fuck it. Yeah, I mean, it it. You know how I am too. You know when when. Music sound like the other shit you already listen to. It's just it's okay. Uh whatever the fuck that mean. I'm with you. <laughs> 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 whatever the fuck that meant. Savagely humble. <laughs> Yo. How you feel about that joke? As you cuss the kids out of eating us at the same time. I didn't cuss the kids that's out, but not, definitely, that's definitely not a pause moment. No, pause, them nuts. Exactly. no, there's no pause moment. On that. Why would I need to say pause for her eating nuts? <laughs> that's why I said it's not a pause moment. Yes, that's what I said. Nah. Um, which one was that? Um, that was others. No, that was no procrastination. No procrastination. Okay. Um, now, I ain't gonna lie. The others is my shit. I started to play others that, is but my I was shit like. Too. I said, nah, I'm gonna play this one right here. Cause I know this was this was Hold on no, because everybody face looking crazy. Yes, I know all the songs because I've interviewed all these motherfuckers. Oh, so you can say what I was thinking. Okay, mm -hmm. there you go. Yeah, I seen your face. You like, yeah, I know this one too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but nah, real shit though. He's a different individual. Like I fuck with his lyrics, period. And for him to, I bet you guys didn't know from just listening to him, the niggas from Detroit. Don't sound like he from Detroit at all. There's no Detroit slang or nothing really. You if if it is, you you're gonna miss it if you're not paying attention. So it, it gives you a different vibe. That's really what made me pick up on it. But actually, lyrically, cool. I actually like the beat on that song too. My God. I and, and, and 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 it did and he didn't have to catch uh catch up with the beat like fees. Oh, he was yeah. there. I actually <laughs> wasn't even going. I, like I actually <laughs> wasn't even going to bring up the fact that he was from Detroit until mm -hmm. after everybody said they shit because a lot of people just assume when you're from Detroit you have a certain sound. Me right. personally, I don't think he sounds like a Detroit rapper either, but some people do believe he does. 
So I didn't pick up that right there. That his name is Duo Mula. That song is called No Procrastination. Um, Flan, how you felt about that joint? Yeah, I'm just I just want to say I'm having fun watching uh Hectic evolve and understand the whole pause situation. Now, For I real though, I was gonna say I'm having fun watching his growth, but then that would have been a pause moment. So I decided to edit Max. and figure out. Right, right, right. Hey, but I do want to say this on the the episode that just dropped on All on the Table, the Happy Hour Extended. My man was on point with every pause he said on that whole episode. My nigga, he's like, definitely learning. He was he's on learning. point. I said that's right. Hold on, though. I didn't get to say this about Feast. Feast said some pause worthy shit in that song, too. He said, I'm going to stretch the nigga out like a rubber band. We are not okay with that. <laughs> we are not fucking okay yeah. with that. Super pause, Feast. Super All fucking right. pause, my nigga. That, that joint was clearly the uh, like the most well put together of, of what we heard <laughs> so far. Mm-hmm. But what, why, why is it a pause on that moment? They, don't why is he stretching the nigga out? Yeah. He should not be stretching another nigga out. Yeah, he's you stretched someone out to dismember them. That's what I got from it. He was gonna yeah. kill them. All right, so we're gonna get to the next song. song. But it's on my next song, nigga. Play the next song. I'm gonna go back on mute. I'm gonna go back on mute. Play the next song. Here's the thing. I thought when he said I'm gonna stretch out like a rubber band. One thing I don't do is I don't like to not show love to the ladies, and I know. Here he go. Nigga Hectic about to get upset. <laughs> Why he about to get upset? Oh, shit. That nigga does not list like listening to female rappers. You got to be... You, Are you so another I, one of them? On, I ain't going to say that. I that feel like comedians. So t- for Hectic, you got to really be talking that shit as a female for him to pay attention to you. Hmm. So he's one of them dudes. Do I think he's a chauvinistic She kid? got a yes. cupcake? But what he the gotta, fuck you got to be talking that shit. Spot. It is what it is. I'm eating nuts. She licking That's cupcakes. Her, oh, Look. lick that good. She's licking a cupcake. Who, who, who <laughs> licking cupcakes? What's going on here? What the fuck is going on here? I got a whole container in there. Yes. The whole, what is that? Upside down cake? Yeah. Can we do one show? Just a, one show. A, um, uh, I just want to do one fucking show <laughs> without no fucking innuendos, without no... Just one fucking time with you motherfuckers. Y'all got to be the nastiest niggas on the planet that I have ever met in my fucking life. <laughs> All of you motherfuckers except Flynn. They, gi- they giving me the ammo. Flynn, damn, Flynn. She looked that nasty. Flynn. 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 Hey, su- and Super Paul's on that shit, too. Nasty. He's gonna let everybody. Oh, that's not a super pause. She's supposed nigga, to. I said the top. nasty, everybody but Flan. Nigga, that's pause moment. What uh, is you talking uh, about, cuz? Uh, I, I, I thought you were talking this about my nasty. Was hype and shit. That ain't no top. fucking pause. Like, <laughs> you from his phone. I'm gonna lick the ice now. Man. I'm gonna get the fuck that ass. The fuck you should. What's the next song, nigga? Play it. Because this is out of control. Let's go. It might, it might fit the theme. Might be looking at right, that top. Look at that oh, top. it is a female. Never know what we about to do. What's it do? This thing on. Oh, this smooth. I be that 20, 30 flow. Bopping around the house. Yeah. House slippers yeah. on while baby is on the couch. I be that 20, 80 flow. Bouncing around the city. Hands yeah. fit, lay. Flexing and looking pretty. I be, I be, I be, I be, I be, I be. I be. Stick up, and you surely deserve it all. I be focused when your focal go loco. I be your air or a magic potion if you ever need to disappear. Not for nothing, babe. I be your nocturnal fill in the blank. For anything attempting to ever keep you from great, I be the play into your mate. Check, I be your checkers and spade. Anybody detected to be a hater, I be that 20 30 flow. Focus on openness, I be unapologetically why 
my choice into rap. It's exciting. I be, I be, I be running across the sky, breaking down barriers in the blink of an eye. I like you so bumper dry. You willing to change the lens and see something more poignant than money and fleeting trends? Oh, forgot to mention I be a true reflection of Eve before the apple with added introspection. Not judging, just nudging a bit. Yep. Trust something's yep. coming from it since fame is the game and we all pushing and shoving for it. They say the struggle's real. Wonder why fake is the muzzle on it. I guess I'll be the answer until questions stop running from I it. I be that 2030 flow, bopping around the house. Yeah. House slippers yeah. on while baby is on the couch. I be that 2080 flow, bouncing around the city. city. Hands city. fit laid, city. flexing and looking pretty. I be, 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 I My nigga Flan, how you feel about that one right there? I fucks with that one. I fucks with that one. That's, that's, and first of all, let's be clear. First of all, I asked you this for a specific reason, too, and you probably know exactly why I asked you why you like this joint. Let's be clear. That's the first song we've played so far tonight. All these other joints been like freestyles, interludes. That's oh. been the first, like, hook, verse, hook. Who does she remind you of, though? Who does she remind me of? And you trying to get me to throw Rhapsody name out there? It's not quite a Rhapsody. That's who she reminds yeah, me of. Honestly, I'm not even gonna count. he remind me of an underground version of Rhapsody. Yeah. The, 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 her tone, her her wordplay, her fucking content. She reminds me. Evil. She reminds me of Shorty from uh, Diggable Planets. Oh, my God. I was about to Google that. I'm like, I know who I'm looking. I'm, I'm thinking about the video. I just couldn't remember the name of the group. Yeah. Very old school vibe. I liked her. I like that. I must be a very I, I horrible person. I didn't like the opening, though. I, I didn't like the opening. The ID verse. stuff started to piss me off, but then I got into it. Right. So. Right. So, right. I mean, honestly, I feel like, to me, that, that I'm not a woman. But to me, I feel really? like that could. I have no idea. <laughs> could have fooled the fuck out of me. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm not a woman, but to me, I feel like that could be a woman's anthem type of situation. That's just me. I'm just saying. I would, I, 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 I would disagree. It wasn't. It wasn't dope. Uh, it had the potential to be dope. The IBs would take people, women. We, we can't handle certain things. That would have took us and made us get on it. Too many IBs, IBs. But the lyrics. The lyrics were meaningful. The lyrics were definitely meaningful. And I loved how she flows so smooth, but I can't get past it because all I heard was Rashida. And then it was this video of Rashida going around and she in the car with Kirk. And this Bitch, this what? <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. Hear me I out. have no clue who Rashida flows, or Kirk is, but okay. Listen, listen. She flows a little bit like Rashida. Remember... Uh, I put him on to make him want to marry me and how uh -huh. Rashida rap. She sounds like Rashida. And remember, Kirk was in the car. She's like, don't, don't I put it on you like that? And then they showed, they edited the clips and it's crickets and he looking like, <laughs> that. and that's why I kept laughing because that's all I seen was that scene. But yeah. I think it was just too many IBs, IBs, IBs. I think, I think that was just too much, but the song and it's the, the lyrics in itself, powerful. Powerful. The the beat, I wouldn't change it up at all, but I would definitely take some of those IBs, IBs out of it because that's what <laughs> Yo, the IBs, IBs is taking me to fuck yeah. out. <laughs> this is clearly an example of poetry set to music. Like this was like it was formed. Like I think that was a part of the absolutely of the you know, it's a part of the vibe. I, don't oh, know. I mean, I, I get that, but you asking people what they feel, and I just feel like I'm not everyone's into poetry. Poetry is something that is kind of like is it's a foreign language to a lot of people still, you know. Unfortunately, you know, but if you that's your thing, then this would be a perfect song for you. But I I wouldn't listen to it because it was just to me. I, I feel like I that's part of. of I feel it, like that's I part of heard that many IBs. what we hear from. I be, I be. women's hip-hop like when they 
like a lot of times when it, when it, when females are talking some uplifting, some deep, something real, it's like, oh man, I don't know. And it's crazy because a lot of times it's most dudes don't really listen to female hip hop. So for real, for real, it's like the WNBA. If women ain't gonna pay attention, you already know men ain't paying but so much attention. So women kind of have to pay attention to certain th- certain things. And I think this is one of those songs where if women ain't really fucking with it heavy, because mo- that song is not for dudes at all. She said absolutely nothing that's going to resonate to any, unless unless you a boy that like boys, nothing she said in there is going to resonate. <laughs> Did you to really you. have to say it like that? Right. <laughs> Did you really have to say it like that? It's not supposed to resonate with you as a dude, but as a dude, I would listen to it like this is the type of chick. Again, I, I personally feel like that should be a woman's anthem type song. That's just me. This is what's crazy to me. like, And this is no diss to anybody because you like what you like and you don't what you don't. But it's like somebody with little to no skill that come on making a song about the dumbest, most ratchet shit ever will find ways to like, oh, it's, it's, our, it's cool. Somebody no, sir. that <laughs> obviously got talent as a rapper, beat selection was crazy, well put together, and we tripping over IB. Like this is crazy to me. Like it's like we finding the easiest. But that's but that's just your opinion, and that's not crazy because so so much repetitive, just so much repetitive. Even major songs that's on the the streams now, when you hear them keep on keep on repeating things, you be like, nah, nah, nah. But now, granted, if I was right now, going over again. It's a lot of songs. I don't listen to. I don't listen to a lot of this music because I can't get into it because there is no skill set. Like Sexy Red, I've never heard none of her songs. I can't get into it. Cardi B, I've only heard a few of her songs because my kids listen to it. When I listen to music, I like I do like to do something meaningful, but I just wasn't really feeling feeling that song. The beat was all right, but I felt like there was a little bit more that she could have really did to grab the ladies because. I'm telling you, a lot of other ladies probably wouldn't have felt that song neither. It's to not me, that that's, that's like a like, that's like a Jill Scott doing rap type song. That's what I got from it. Jill. Conspiracy. That's yeah, soulful. It was a whole vibe. That's soulful like type first. shit, but in hip hop. Didn't like it at first though, and then it caught on. Then the IBs became a part of it, and I because lyrically I was feeling the whole thing. But I mean, there's a lot of songs I don't like the first time I heard it. For her, it was just Where's like the first yeah, was second. It was just the first 15 seconds that threw me off. But then I, I got into it. But that's my type of vibe because I don't do ratchet. So who, who's the artist? So I can add that. That is, Tone, that is Tone Houston. The song is called IB. The Tone actual Houston. album is also called IB. Yeah. And, and, and that's uh, from and, and the, from that particular album, one of the tracks on that song was featured on uh, She Got Game on Netflix. Spike Lee joint. Facts. So it's not bad. And then the album that dropped in February is unapologetically she something. Got some, disturbed. She got some. Now that one on that actually has sure. some shit on it. Uh, she got one song called Take the L. It can mean 50 different things. Right. But in, when you listen to it as a female, you're going you gonna to definitely hear her telling a nigga, nigga, you going to take an L through this whole entire song. But now. Definitely for me, not not my type of music that I listen to, but as I listened to it more, it grew on me. You know what I'm saying? But I also had the opportunity of talking to her as well to understand what it is. She was a poet before a rapper. So it makes sense to me that it sounds that way. But I fucks I fucks with it. I fucks with it. I fucks with it. Let's keep it going. I bees, I bees, I bees, I bees. I will probably listen to it a few more times for the girl. Yeah, you definitely do it. Like I had to listen to it. Yeah. I had to listen to her music a few times because it's it's not my speed. That's not just what I'm on. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, you right. you no. Say again. I was asking Hectic if he gave his Wait for it. Why is everybody so fucking quiet? I thought he was about to fucking say something. He being all <laughs> weird know. now that he got a haircut. <laughs> no, no, I was dude. like, you ain't give me the floor. I ain't gonna just jump in. Um, Whoa, I pause, like, nigga. Pause, nigga. <laughs> it's on the floor. Put it on the floor. <laughs> pause, I, nigga. Who's doing I, I like good him. all the way up until <laughs> there? <huh? laughs> Wait, damn it. Weird. Flynn, um, I forgot I, this whole episode. I definitely, I definitely liked it. Um, Look, wait a minute. Wait, uh, what? 
I forgot my bow all episode. Oh, Hold up. Did Hector just say he liked that song? What? I liked it better than I better I liked it way better than the dudes. Wow. So <laughs> super pause on that one, my nigga. <laughs> yeah, uh, I like I like the beat. Um, I like what she was talking about. She was even throwing in you uh innuendos, but it was so subtle that Thanks. I was like, okay, cool. You know what I mean? Um she, you know, what I mean, you know, the reason I don't, so no one just thinks I hate female rappers or comedians. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I don't really care for them is because they always talking about their pussy. Like I'm good with that. Like mm-hmm. okay, cool. That's what understandable. Have to offer, you know what I mean? And for her, and you know, I also told you if I could listen to a song and already think of a music video to go to it, it's a dope ass song. Yeah, understandable. All right, let's keep it popping. Let's keep it pushing. We're going to stay with I the mean, ladies. I, I, I feel that. Feel a Lil in the motherfucking building. Ew. 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 Oh, and match my hoodie. Bitch. I'm so filled with two A's. Fuck what they be talking about. Hoes can't fuck with me. Ain't having none of that. None. I drive that 418 like a Hellcat. <laughs> Pull up and it's 10 it up. I'm in a big truck. Yeah. Hitting cars while I swerve. I ain't got no license. I, I break it down and roll it up. It's hand like Tyson. <laughs> don't do no switches or no duchess. I don't like them. Like Bitch, I'm outside like the sun. Uh-huh. So we're spending funds. Getting money never done. Yeah. Hey. Go sit down, bitch. You ain't got no motion. I call my feelings Nika, the way they stay frozen. Get the fuck back, bitch. Got me feeling like Wooda. I stay with some niggas, but I am the shooter. And bitch, I'm in the hood. If I ain't got the heat, you can still run up. You get in hands and feet. Don't give a fuck who said it. They ain't speaking to me. Claiming we got beef when I'm Chef or V. Let's go. If a bitch Nigga, I'm in fucking you know, tears. You know I just take back everything I motherfucking said. I'm fucking with the first song. Because what the <laughs> fuck, bitch? That shit ain't got no <laughs> license. You know I'm going to show up. Oh, she's still going. I just came to tell you my word. Let's <laughs> nigga for his mouth. I'm a dentist. I, I tell him lick on the pussy till I'm finished. Burp he like, up. can you suck it first? Me don't speak no English. Diamonds around my neck. Uh, <laughs> the penguins. Don't give a fuck what you heard. <laughs> I put my hands on this bitch like a pastor. Then I get the whipping on this bitch like a master. How the fuck your car on E? But you in the streets. How the fuck you stay broke begging for weed? Hey, get your mind right. Get your mind straight. Everybody wanna eat, but they ain't passing our plates. You can't bring shit to the table, but got something to say. Hey, get your mind right. Get your mind straight. I've been balling on the court like LeBron James. Yo, <laughs> wait the fuck is it? Is it real this time? Is it done? Is it done? Is it done? Because we got to run down and she started rapping again. Are we done? Are we done? Are we done? Are we done? Wait, I'm in fucking, te- I'm in fucking right. tears, nigga. Like, soon as the song started, this yeah. nigga face <laughs> fucking exploded. <laughs> Yo, I'm in fucking... <laughs> Yeah, no. <laughs> no, fuck no, this song. Man, fuck that. Hold up. No, no, no. Fuck that. Fuck that. No, no, no. Hold up. Hold up. So, Terry. Yeah, no, nah, fuck Hectic. Oh. Tara, how you feel about that? <laughs> um, I'm going to go with no. Thank you. You know she from the loo, too. She's from the loo. from the loo. Wait, wait. These people are, they moved from wherever they were living. (laughs) 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 No, she actually from from the loo. That hurts. We ain't gonna show no love to the loo. I'm not. Look, I don't don't care where you came from. If if your stuff is trash, you trash. I don't don't support you from St. Louis. Um, I think it it sounded very remedial, very Dr. Susie. Um, This (laughs) is. Because I ain't got no license, took me out. Um, <laughs> not, that's, this is not. I'm not the target audience for this. So wait, this wait, say my, it again. What she said? What she said? What she said? <laughs> listen, this is a sexy red crowd, and that doesn't. <laughs> no, no listen. That's sexy last red week, little sister. Hold on. Last <laughs> week, last no. week I played one of her songs, right? And a lot of people was, and everybody on there was like, "Oh man, I don't know." But the thing is. Me personally, I feel like she got super potential based off what's popping on the radio 
right now. But a we lot don't of care. motherfuckers. Uh, oh, now us, us, I think she'll us make right it. here might be listening like what the fuck is this but right <laughs> now what she is doing is exactly is what's popping on the radio it? now the only difference is she don't just talk about fucking she talk about fucking she talk about the streets she talking about real shit but she is doing exactly what's popping right now if this shit, that song right there, I don't give a fuck how y'all feel. If that shit came on the radio, it would pop. That shit would be going yeah. crazy. Yeah, and that's what's yeah, saying. We're not saying it with and pop. We're not saying it with and pop. We're saying it's not for us. That you know, it's, it, it's you. very, that. very catchy, and it's funny. Just the fact me, of I ain't got no license. When she went to, I want to take that to my freaking thing right now. <laughs> <laughs> but. Is not she 95 pounds? In my car. No, that's a big bitch. That's a big bitch. It's a big bitch. Is she really? She's wow. definitely a big body Benz for sure. Wow. Ooh, that's yeah. thick. Really right. like that's a that's that's a thick em. Yeah. Thick em, yeah. thick em. She, she sounds she, really petite. Nah, mm-hmm. she cold Wait. grits. I ain't gonna hold you. She that's got ass, ass and hips for days. Facts. I bet she, you what she rapping about. I bet you that's not me. Her real life. You got. You guys forget like women. We got to be on here. You nah, actually. Oh no. Actually, this she really? lived that shit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she's from really? St. Louis. Absolutely. She's living that shit. Oh, like, yeah. She's oh, I talking, believe it. When she said, to her I life, told him to lick this clip. I was like, yep. That's all you heard. No, and you said. Like, you said her right, right, right. nothing else. Hold on, no, <laughs> hectic. She said, I told him to lick this click. He said, can you suck it first? She said, me speaking no I black English. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I cut my ears off after I heard that. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to keep it a bean with y'all, right? And it's just me personally. I just personally wish that I could be her manager. Mm-hmm. Because on some real shit, Sophia could be popping right now. Oh, she no got doubt. the wrong motherfuckers in her corner that's not putting her where she need to be or helping her promote the way she needs to be. Yeah. So fe- the yeah, shit she said, regardless of how motherfuckers feel, we all adults and might be like, ah, oh, man, that ain't for us. But everything she said in that song right there was is what's popping right the fuck now. For those twenty year olds, like that though, she ain't said that to no dude. Girls do not walk around speaking like that. It don't matter if she said it or not. Uh, Yeah, some people. I I tell a nigga to suck this pussy in a heartbeat. That over my pussy (laughs) pink, my booty hole brown. I tell you to suck this pussy real quick. Pause, because you are you talking to me? Yeah. (laughs) No, I'm not talking to you. (laughs) I'm not talking to you at all. (laughs) No, (laughs) ma'am. No, (laughs) ma'am. Yo, wow. all right. I want. I mean, yeah, I want to get into that one was, more I like song. That song it was funny, but I went and I went and it's not a banger. It was funny. No, though. if that shit, honestly, if that shit was on the radio, that shit would be going crazy right now. Uh, real shit. Yeah. But it's not us, a banger for me us, though. Nah, but it's better than Pound is, Town. It's us, way better than Pound Town. Us as adults, it's not I'm our listening. lane because we're yeah. used to true. something different. True. But that's true. for a motherfucker in their twenties. This is where it's at. Like that song right there is where the fuck is that? Real Are shit. you saying 20 year olds aren't grown? They're not adults? They're they're technically um, really the not fact that you be... assume that a 20 year old is adult uh yeah, makes yeah, you seem mentally. like no, 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 you're no, not no. an you adult. Said in their 20s. That, that would include a 29 year old. That's not an adult. Exactly. Uh, wow. I, I agree. Well, actually, actually, science says that most people don't reach uh, maturity mentally until 30s. So where the science says that 21 was the age that uh, males and females reach maturity, new research research says that that is not true. Maturity so just means that you're getting dumber? Maturity just means that you're no, getting your balls no, about no, to start no, sagging. No, no, That's all that shit means. No. It's brain development too. Your brain maturity brain means that your titties and your balls are about to start sagging. It that is, is not the, the is. one basic. That is not the one basic definition of maturity. When you became mature, did your titties start dropping? Well, it's obvious. I rest my motherfucking case. Get, so. Let's get into this next motherfucker song. Like 60, you you still not mature. In a song. I ain't gonna Damn. never mature. It is what the fuck it is. Who said you was sixty? I'm a grown ass kid, motherfucker. What toys are us at? You got me fucked up. I feel 
feel you on that. I feel you on that. Point me to the nearest Toys R Us. <laughs> exactly. Hey, I hold up. First of all, so, so, so my the complex that I'm living in right now just had a fucking yard sale. I went out there looking for toys. Point blank fucking period. I, I collect I, I collect toys. It is what the fuck it is. Especially I, the shit that I didn't that my mama didn't want to buy me as a kid. I collect you that shit. Like vibrators action figures. Action figures. Action figures. We know you're still trying to get that vintage store off the off the ground. First of all, I'm not gonna lie to you. I am definitely still want to get that vintage toy store popping. Cause I feel like if go go fuck me, if fucking goddamn uh uh, Cherokee D ass or one of them had an ALB that came out they ass, a nigga will pay for that shit. A nigga will pay for that shit to put it in a glass jar to say that B was inside of Go-Go. I guarantee a nigga will pay for that shit. Top fuck. If niggas out here paying for draws, niggas will pay for anal bees. Fuck is you talking about? All right, it is what the fuck it is. Please. Next motherfucking song, let's go. Ah, ah. Know all it's petty ass punk. Hit up the bank, I want it all. Call and collect, I got red on the phone. Hit up the stash, that nigga drop it, I pocket the profit and I'm going home. Hit up the bank, I want it all. Call and collect, I got red on the phone. Hit up the stash, that nigga drop it, I pocket the profit and I'm going home. Got me a nigga for Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, I call him my church back. Be asking them questions like third back. Be breaking these niggas like dudes on the third. The niggas with switches, the freak ass bitches, Brazilian and stitches. My mother be flex on a fake ass bitch. You change it for niggas and men. Her shit like a movie, these bitches be groupies for niggas that be on my line. Unimpressed with the family that be in the pictures, cause they only fuck with my grind. Cut off my relations, these niggas can't pay me if they wanna fuck with my time. And if you catch my nigga on the street with a bitch, just know that that nigga ain't mad. Hit up the bank, I want it all. Call and collect, I can play on the phone. Hit up the stash, that nigga drop it, I pocket the profit and I'm going home. Hit up the bank, I want it all. Your I kind of like that though. I ain't gonna lie. I the beat, yeah. I definitely was messing with that beat because that beat was like, yeah, okay. And um, I don't know. I, I just feel like she was really speaking about dough more than anything, and I kind of like that. Um, I like what she says because she, she had something about speaking about dough. I didn't hear you. What you say? You said she was talking about dough. Dough. Oh, okay. Dough like money. Yeah, I, I know what the fuck. Do they not use that term anymore? <laughs> Yo, this what we doing? This is what we doing? You act like it was foreign language when I said. I didn't Dale. hear you. I didn't <laughs> hear you. I, I, I apologize, sir. Okay. I apologize, my dear sir. No, but you know, I I kind of liked her style, I liked the way she was flowing. <clears throat> it was I ain't gonna lie, it was a little hard for me to kind of understand her because I feel like, like she's from the south or something. She sounds like Chicago. she got like an accent. Chicago. She, oh, from Chicago. Chicago. Okay. Yeah. It was, kinda, it was just so hard to understand. Another, so I had to listen a little bit harder. Another one life. of those artists that is doing exactly what's on the radio right now and could actually be one of those motherfuckers that could be on the radio right now. Now, as a grown up, we might listen to it and say, ah, it's not for us. But we got to remember, this is what's popping. This is. The type of shit that we listen to when we not saying the same shit, but when we was younger, our old heads was like, "Man, what the fuck is y'all listening to?" That's what this is. Is, is that why? Is that how we're excusing this? Is, is, that's the excuse we're giving for bad music. We can't. That's the thing. We consider it bad music. I mean, that they I mean, the youngins do. I'm about to say I don't really think that song was. I don't really think that song was bad. I can't resonate with it as far as because I ain't never had a dude in jail and I put money on the phone because I'm assuming that's what she's talking about like when guys are in jail. Where the fuck is Amron with the chicken boxes? 
when I problem with hip hop now it's not necessarily even the content or any of that type of stuff is that it is a fucking product it's not an art form anymore it's what can i put out that's to- the major problem like i agree just, i agree just a money grab if you don't she can spit she gave us like two eights mm-hmm. if you just don't love the rap mm-hmm. stop rapping i don't i i, I don't want to hear it and i don't want to i don't want to manage it and support it and make it pop or earn any money off of it because it's, it's fucking up the culture to me like that's not what i came in here for I personally think I Petty like, Pumpkin is trash. So it is what really? it is. Yes. I thought she so. was all right. I would listen to a whole song of nothing but I be before I listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. That's not the same song that you played me before. It was a different song you played before. Yes. That was worse. I do not fuck with this shit at all. I don't give a fuck what's popping, what's hot, what's not. And I listen to the shit that they put out now, the bullshit <laughs> ladies music, because I support female rappers, regardless of the bullshit or fucking not. That I would not fucking listen to. I don't listen to them all, but I listen to a lot of them. The, she is not one that I would be like, oh, now if you play some like Sasha Go Hard or some shit like from Chicago, some Katie Got Bands from Chicago, we might go talk about some shit, but that shit, fuck out of here. No. You're real upset about she, that. I, like, I, like she, I, I felt like, like, like she was being the stallion. I felt like her she, skill set hey, was precise. Sam, That's did why she I fuck like your dude? Skills. What happened? Yo, I mean, she <laughs> real upset about that one. I thought it was just me, my nigga. Holy shit. Right. <laughs> She's spitting her Cheerios. Yeah, yeah something the fuck happened. Shut the fuck up. You talking about that? Definitely <laughs> fucking happen. Like holy shit! But like, okay, hey, but Flynn, but Flynn said something, and I got a question though. He said it's no longer an art form, and I'm like, how do we get back? Will we ever get back to that point where rap and R and B is you. ever? No. Uh, you know why we can't? There's rappers we, out that still do it. We just don't listen to them. We can't get back to that because motherfuckers that's actually rapping mm-hmm. aren't getting played on the radio. And uh, too many people believe that if it's not on the radio, it's not worth listening to. You can't get you back. Know what? It's, not, it's even bigger it. than that. These people want, want to keep us in this box. They don't want us to have intelligence. Exactly. They don't want us to promote anything positive or to show the strength and intelligence. I said and this in the beginning. Like that. So that's what mm-hmm. this is. They're going to keep running us down and keep us looking like wild animals to keep us shooting each other and killing each other so they can make profits off of it. That's why they put life insurance on all them little young dudes. And when they die, exactly. they still make them money off of them. I, I concur so, with that. I so concur with let that. Me, so, Hectic, being in the porn industry, is this something that you will listen to? Or is this one of those, I'm a dude, I ain't listening to this bullshit, fuck her. I don't want to hear about her pussy. I, I don't know. Because it's, you got to, so, the porn the industry is in certain. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, because because you asked that, the porn industry and certain hip hop songs to me are one and the same. A lot of songs sound like porn to beats because they're telling the story about the whole experience. They just telling it to a beat. That's what a lot of. That's what I hear when I listen to a lot of female rappers. Me personally, a rhapsody, a fucking uh, Tone Houston. A, a rod digger, like I can appreciate them because you say them more. A fucking uh, 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 what's her name, Remy? Like you say them more than just I suck dick, I take it in the ass. Like I don't really want to. Like it's cool to say it sometimes, but do I want to hear it every song? Same way with dudes. I again, I am not a I don't hear you man talking about. I'm tired of hearing about your one brick, nigga. You've been talking <laughs> about the same brick for 15 years now, nigga. I'm tired of hearing that shit. Yeah, 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 that's just me. It's just so sad. It's so sad because it feels like you would never be able these these female rappers will never be able to achieve their goal unless they're talking about sex. That like I swear to goodness, my content. True. Like, I can't, not true. That is, that is not true. What would it, it would take for people to stop listening to that and listen to the yeah. good music for it to happen? But instead. People aren't listening to good rappers anymore. They be like pound they don't town, give a pound fuck town. Yeah. The fact when I heard a nigga tell me when I heard a nigga tell me that J Cole wasn't good because he's not on the radio. In my mind, I'm like, wow. 
That's versus crazy. us. Angel. Versus us, when we grew up, we listened to more people that weren't on the radio versus exactly. that was. Right. I'm gonna be that's honest true. with that's you. True. I don't even this if when I listen to an album, the songs that's on the radio, I skip past them shits. I already heard them shit. I want to hear the <laughs> other shit. Yeah, that's just me. Look at what we do, like even when we talk in like real hip hop conversations, we will spend more time mentioning and complaining about the music that we don't like than actually promoting the music that we do. Facts. How many artists have on this show we talked about that we do like that's making music out there that we want people to go see support rather than we done mentioned motherfucker sexy red name too many motherfucking times tonight. I did. Y'all can bring it around because y'all enjoyed that bitch. But you know what? Some of those artists have spoken out and they said the problem is they can't get the funding that some of these artists will get. They would invest more money in artists like uh, the Red Girl and the, the old school artists. <laughs> because that's how the, the labels artists. make money. You got to choose. You got to decide. They make money based off so many, too many people. Again, too many people believe if your song is not on the radio, you're not popping. So I'm not going to listen to you. So a motherfucker like Nas drop an album and his loyal fans gonna go listen. But other motherfuckers like, oh, Nas ain't on the radio. Why the fuck am I gonna go listen to him? You an artist, you got to listen to Lupe, and I ain't but heard him. We're gonna get into one more forever. motherfucker song, then we're gonna get the fuck up out of here. We sticking with the ladies. We're going to end the night with the ladies. I'm sorry, Hectic. You're going to be all right. You're going to hear one more female spit bars. I feel like you're going to be okay, my nigga. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? I don't know. <laughs> Fucking young people, man. That's not like, let me see you straight. Technical fucking difficulties. I hate them. Oh. Playing with my I music. know that beat though. It's not I on purpose, y'all. It's not on purpose. That's just so said we have done heard enough bullshit tonight. It said it's trash. <laughs> is it just me? What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> you don't hear us. You don't hear us? He don't okay. hear us. Sounds like okay. my sounds. Like, um, look at him. He don't hear us. <clears throat> <clears throat> show is over. Good night, y'all. Oh, show is gone. And y'all oh, talking shit. shit. When I hear this shit, shit I'm going to air all y'all the fuck out. I'm telling y'all now. <laughs> Can okay. you stop promoting all these air all don't y'all the fuck go out? My music? I'm telling y'all. Can you hear me? Nope, I can't hear a fucking thing. Why y'all want to go download my music? Aaron, all y'all the fuck out. Because when I hear it back. Is it like the shit you've been liking all night? Is it like the shit you've been liking all night? No, my song, 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 my but I'm gonna air y'all the fuck <laughs> out when I can. Right oh, and I'm gonna do party two, huh, No, Annie, no, Annie's not here. <laughs> Annie's not in the building. Yo, he he's Annie, come on now. You tell me he was gonna promote my song. Annie's not here. Wrong person. I'm a winner. Jesus Christ. Why you keep play the song or don't play it? Do no, it don't play the song. It's a Good on a blunt, 
I'ma pour the gas in, nigga, what you asking? Money calling, bass beat, heartbeat, I do this shit with passion. I ain't Kim or Chloe, but I'm in the car dashing. Born to do it beat, uh-huh. I'ma do it massive. Just to get the other show. reactions. Haters disappear cause they hate that I'm magic. They all need glasses, can't see that. They cannot match this, doing what they fathom. I'ma do it, do it to the casket. Bad, bad bitty on my mattress. Said I'm making a dragon, I'm still smashing, haters give me room like a mansion, I don't think you niggas know me, I don't got a lot of homies, they be riding like they for me, yeah, I just keep it on the low key, yeah, I be riding by my lonely, yeah, I be riding by my lonely, yeah, on the low key, I be riding by my lonely, by my lonely, Tags. Get to ducking when I'm coming, yeah, I'm going full blast You think I'm playing and I'm not Hoppy tippy top to the bottom top notch One squeeze make you squat Money in my pocket make a nigga pocket watch Screaming R.I.P.T. I'ma meet you at the top Keep it moving hopscotch Got the eyes of a hot big balls in my crotch These fake little niggas never give me big props You see these big rocks got them bumping on my neck like the pox The way I shine got them shocked I'm a solid bitch, leave them rocked I got hella sauce, so I floss Not a dentist, I'm a boss All money in, no loss Never give me been a crisscross Apple sauce, I'll be at your jaws Blow a to kiss and rough ride Like a loss I'll be tippy top to the bottom top notch One squeeze, make you squat Money in my pocket, make a nigga pocket watch Screaming R.I.P.T I'ma meet you at the top I don't think you niggas know me I don't got a lot of homies They be riding like they for me, yeah I just keep it on the low key, yeah I be riding by my lonely, yeah I be riding by my lonely, yeah On the low key, I be riding by my lonely By my lonely, yeah yeah, yeah. Well, she riding by her lonely because she be playing that damn song yeah. <laughs> I, I'm feeling the song. I, 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 I it had a few questionable moments in there, but I was feeling this song. <laughs> Allure, everything that you have liked tonight is what we've been talking about is wrong with hip hop. You know what's so. I don't feel like nothing was wrong with this song right here. I've heard a couple of songs the, like this. The crazy um, part is, if you see the amount of streams she got on that song, you might think differently. I ain't going to no, say I, you I think differently about the lyrics or the song like itself. Something. Not saying that you'll think lyrically about the difference, the lyrics or the song, but you'll think differently about the music itself. Because that song has streamed like she popping off that one song alone. So is yeah, Sexy I'm Red. What does that mean? I do not care. But her, but her flow, but she has skills though. Sexy Red don't really, Sexy Red, Red, whatever her name is. Sexy Red I is fucking like, horrible. We're gonna stop bringing up that broad name. Like, not We're gonna call rap. her the Roach. She is no longer Sexy Red. She is the Roach. She was it is what it is. I'm not gonna do that because that's horrible. But I just feel like her skill set. I don't think Sexy Red has a rapping skill set. I think that this young girl right here, if she didn't have a beat, I think she could flow. I think that she could probably push the pin. And the fact that the beat is "Let Me See You Dance, Girl." Drop it low, drop it to the flow. I love that. That's one of my favorite songs by that guy who looked like Tupac. But anyways, um, <laughs> the truth. Look at Savage. But, yeah, but, but no, I, I really felt like uh, that nigga do not look like Tupac. What are you talking about? I know. But I want to. I want to like get his time to let Flan get the rest of the anger that he got in. And <laughs> All out right, right, I'm now, out. Because I feel like he's pissed the fuck off right now. Hold up. Mm-hmm. I could care less at this point. I get I, I give up. I fucking give up. <laughs> do what you want. Enjoy whatever the fuck y'all want to enjoy. I ain't listening to shit else to come out after this date. This is the date where I cut it off. I think I think JID got an album coming out. I Cole got an album coming out. I'm gonna fuck with those and I, I might be the end up for me. I'll be <laughs> yeah, why don't you like this song? Because she got right. holes in her crotch, and I understand why she don't handle homies. Like it makes sense. Okay, yeah, that threw me off. That I was like, I was feeling until I heard that, and I was like, huh? Yeah, what? I was feeling until that part though, but I did think that she could rap though. And I don't know why she got balls in her crotch though. 
I don't hey, get that. Listen, we can't tell people. Some people assume they got balls. Some people assume they got pussy. It is what the fuck it is. Ain't nothing we can do about that one. But <laughs> we might. We gonna go ahead and get the fuck out of here at this fucking point. It is what it is. This has been the all on the table. Happy hour edition, baby. You know what I mean? Make sure you tune in to Opulence Radio because this is where this shit pops. We play underground music. We play a lot of different shit. We don't just play underground. We play mainstream as well. We talk about different playlists. We talk about different levels of hip hop, different shit when it comes to hip hop. Myself, Flan, and Easy the General, we are all just hip hop heads and we do what the fuck we do. Oh, yeah, we be see. back to work real soon. Don't worry about it, motherfuckers. Opulence Radio is about to take the fuck over. We about to be the number one streaming station in the fucking land. It is what it is. Flan, oh. talk your shit. Let everybody know where they can find you, what you got going on, who the fuck you be, and all that good shit, my nigga. They can find me anywhere if niggas is hating on bullshit ass music. That's that's it. Just if you make some garbage, if you if you can't do a 16 bar verse, if nigga, if you your syllables ain't right. I'm going to keep harping on that shit till y'all niggas start understanding. Learn how to ride a beat. Pause. But just just, just think about that before you get in the booth next time. I'm tired. Victory is in the details. They don't need to worry about where to find me. They'll find me. It's cool. God. <laughs> this nigga be mad as shit. This should be hilarious. That's Allura, like- talk your shit. Hey, guys. It's your girl, Laura D. You guys can catch me over at the Lauren Hour Network every Sunday at 8.30 p.m. And you guys can also catch me over on YouTube at Aaliyah's Journey um, daily. So go over there, guys. Make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Also follow me on uh, Facebook at Allura Soccer Dannon and Allura Dannon Kane. Roger that. Tara, talk your shit. I got nothing. Light skin vibes only. Roger the fuck that. <laughs> and we out this bitch. Y'all know the vibes all on the table, baby. See you motherfuckers next week. Bung. <laughs>